Good evening everybody and welcome to our spooky paper crafts and piano. Now let me just put some light on the situation. Ta-da! We have our very own phantom at the organ and I am defying gravity with my broomstick over here. So I shall fly over to my desk and see what you're all saying. And you can still see the phantom over there. I can't see any comments yet because my glasses aren't on right. Shouldn't really have had them on, but for the effect, I will look forward to looking at your comments shortly. Hope you like the opening. We've been practicing a little bit different. There he is, the phantom himself on his organ. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Oh, I nearly knocked my drink over then, but then I realized I've not actually um, opened my drink. So I'm dying to see who's on. So I'll turn this round and pop this in here. Oh. And we'll come back and see you at the end. <laughs> Let's see what you're saying. love it very spooky yes give us a thumbs up hi everybody i'm trying to go through thank you we have made we have made an effort tonight you thought it was a weird advert how fabulous ah thank you you two cracked me up we've we have made an effort and we've been practicing we feel like we've been doing a musical show tonight we're both quite a bit nervous actually um Oh, we've got loads on. We've got 31 on already, which is fabulous. Um, the organ, doesn't it sound... Can you hear it all right, actually? Because I'm, I'm quite loud. Because it's over in the corner of the of the room. Um, so... I will be using the chamomile butter, Sue. So thank you to Craig for that lovely phantom opening. We, we had a little master plan for what we were doing with that. Um, I, I don't think I'll be singing Christine... Um, but yeah, so you can hear the music fine. That's great. So we we just wanted to have a bit of fun. Craig's Craig's had to take his mask off now because he can't see what he's playing. So he did that really without being able to see. Um, we're not massive Halloween fans, um, but hey, life's a, so not dull. But we've got so much not rubbish going on. But we've got so many. Um, not so good things going on we just wanted to have a bit of a laugh really more than anything and um so we decided to rather go down the horror and scary route we decided to go down the musical theatre route because we are massive musical theatre fans so craig is phantom and i'm Elphaba. um i don't know what would happen with if phantom that could be a whole new story phantom and Elphaba getting together couldn't it craig um so We've been superb for our mental health. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, brilliant, Helen. That's amazing. So as you can see, I failed on the hands front. I thought if I put green on my hands, I did actually, and you can't see for my hair, but I have actually even greenified my ears tonight. Oh, we're 36. So I'd love to get to over 50 tonight. Um, to be honest, I've been that busy um, thinking about costumes and carving, a, I decided to carve a pumpkin at quarter past five for that opening bit. Um, I've been that busy doing that, I've been a bit rubbish on the crafts, but we'll be fine. Um, so we have got a selfie and we've got, yeah, we've got some selfies. Not loads of us together, but we have got some. Yeah, we might do some after when we're not as nervous. Um, so I'm just going to open my drink. Yeah, we've practiced that little opening bit. <laughs> to get it right. Okay. So, what I'm going to do today, because I know I don't really make um, anything Halloween-y, as in crafts, really. Um, but we live next door to the most lovely little boy, and next door to him is another lovely, bit of a bigger boy. Um, so I'm going to make a little chocolate treat for them and um, well I'm not going to make the treat they're going to get I'm going to we're going to give them a bar of dairy milk 
um, pound from Aldi. Um, and I'm just going to decorate it and I'm going to do one in one style, one in another with the names on and hopefully that could last the hour. Um, Craig's been going through his Halloween sort of music and not really just, you know, like um, movie soundtracks and things. So at the moment, this is for Barb. Um, this is Young Frankenstein, which is one of Craig's favourites. So the first, well, they're both the same, but the first one I'm going to share with you is I'm going to make this little pumpkin um, chocolate holder. And it's basically just a wrapped chocolate bar, which I showed you the chocolate. And this string pulls it up like that. And it doesn't come out. You'd have to cut the string to to get the bar out but so what I thought this could be good for Christmas though as well so although I've done it like a bit Halloweeny um then you love it Wendy oh you love young Frankenstein Wendy oh brilliant um so although I've done this Halloweeny you could do it Christmassy so I hope that that helps you to to do a few table treats and Right, so I, don't, I have actually prepped quite a bit tonight. We were getting ready about an hour before today. We were both ready early, it was funny. Um, oh, do you like it, Kim? Thank you. So, it's really helpful to um, actually use whatever you're popping in as a guide. Now this, FYI, these dairy milks measure about eight centimetres and they are about one centimetre deep. So, um, Barb, I hope you can hear you putting on the Ritz. Um, I'm just reading your comments. Oh, well, if those of you missed the beginning, you need to rewatch um, once the video's processed. Have a rewatch because we did a spooky, well, we thought it was quite a spooky um, entrance. Um, so yeah, so I've measured the eight centimetres. That was Young Frank. We've got a lot of Young Frankenstein fans, Craig. Good. Um, so if you just let me know, you can hear the organ and everything okay. So yeah, I'm allowing eight for that and then a centimetre at either side. So nine, ten. And that leaves 11, which will cross over and meet. Um, so I've actually cut, this is 21, which is the normal width of A4. And then I've cut 21 the other way, so it's easy for you to um, remember. All right. And we can all jazz up a bar of chocolate, can't we? So I've done the cutting already. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just working out, my, yeah, I'm going to score at 5.5 and then 6.5. Probably do another video on this and flip it. And then I'm hoping that gap there measures eight. Yes, I've added up right. So, oh, June, you missed the beginning. You're going to have to rewatch it tomorrow. We had a right party piece going on. And then what I'm going to do at the bottom, I'm just going to score one centimetre. So we've now got Harry Potter. So, you know, we're trying to go down the films rather than the really scary stuff. And the musicals. Oh, did it look awesome, Lim? Did it look good with the... Did it look good with the pumpkin? Isn't the organ amazing? So different, isn't it? I'd love to hear what you think. You'll have to watch back, Jim. So I've just folded these. Oh, Sally, we can eat. It's like being at the towel ballroom. Well, Craig will love that. You were trying to guess what we would be. Did you guess correctly? I can recommend this face paint. It's called Snazaroo. And it was really easy to put on. Oh, you love the organ. Right, so what we're gonna do, I've done, I've got 5.5 from each end, then a one centimetre gap, then eight. 
what I'm going to do, oh, these magnets, is I'm going to just cut a little tab here. Doesn't it sound really different on the organ? There's a lo loads of different sounds. Craig's in his element. say what I was going to say, sorry. Craig's first love was the theatre organ, that's what I'm going to say. Wasn't it Craig? Sally says she, it, she feels like she's at Blackpool Tower. Good. So, hang on, I'm just... Oh, Val, you need to watch the beginning. Oh... It, it's Craig's dream to play at Blackpool Tower, so you can all write to them. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do now is, I've made these tabs, and these would all come in like that and make. It's like an open-ended box, but what I'm going to do first is do some stamping. And do you remember these daubers? Do you remember these? Well, I'm going to use one. Now, I didn't have any pumpkin pie cards, so I'm using Mango Melody. So, I'm going to use a dauber and I'm going to make some spots, a spotty background with it, like this. <laughs> yeah. You know Melissa. We have had a laugh actually. <laughs> I said, let's go see, let's go see Ronnie next door. <laughs> Bless him. I think he'd be fine. He wouldn't understand why Julie and Craig were dressed up. So I've just that just creates a lovely spotty background for you. He's having a great time, Geraldine. Okay, so I'm just reading your comments. Um, now, I'm now going to put this together and I do use tape when I'm making a box. Because it is sort of a box and it's all going to fold in. You just work out how you best just pop them all in like that so I'm gonna pop tape on there Geraldine says it sounds like you're having a wonderful time over there Craig oh, <laughs> don't know if anybody heard that <laughs> you can't believe how evenly spaced the spots are Hey, they're not evenly spaced on my face, Angela. They're all over the place with these masks at the minute. We've got mask in it. Good job I've got the green makeup on tonight, actually. He said, Geraldine, he said, he's always having a good time when he's on his organ. So, I am... Oh, we've, we're on 46 viewers already, which is amazing. So I'm going to pop these in. You can't see what I'm doing really. So I'm going to peel. I also need to pop some over there. It is actually easier to do it whilst you've got the chocolate bar in situ. Just to sort of keep get the shape, yeah? So I'm going to stick this first. So you might not know this um, this one Craig's playing now, but it's from the woman in white. Um, 
I think it's called You See I Am No Ghost or something like that. I didn't really need to put too lots of tape on there. You missed the beginning. Is that someone playing? Yes, Rachel, it's my partner, Craig, playing the organ. This is what we do on a th every Thursday night from 7.30. Now, we normally we normally do, we call it paper crafts and piano, but we do have a theatre organ, as you can hear, in the corner of the lounge. And for the Halloween, we just thought it would be a bit more authentic for a lot of the music that we're, that we're doing tonight. So it's nice for Craig to showcase. Oh, hi, Sandra. I'm just looking at your comments. So if you didn't see the beginning, you need to see our little opening. I'm not saying it's like a Strictly Pros group dance or anything like that, the opening on Strictly, but you know, I was the creative director. Right, I've punched a little hole in the top. And what I'm gonna do now, this is sort of where the magic, oh, I've got a magnet stuck on here now. I've been using my Stamparatus this morning, I've not put the magnets away. I'm gonna use some, you could use linen thread for this. I'm using this thick twine. Now what you need to do is have it, double it over and have it the full length of the um, pouch and then some at the top to tie in a, in a bow. And what you do is you thread it through the hole. Yep, and get it even. like that okay and then you push the chocolate bar in and it pushes the twine down like that okay and then you tie your bow you have seen i've still got my hat on you can hear <laughs> valerie says she can hear craig much better on his organ <laughs> Fifty-two! Fifty-three! Hey, hey, we've done it! Here we go, a bit more phantom for you. It is a great idea, isn't it, to snazzy up? So I've just tied it in a bow. There. It's an inexpensive gift. You could do it with paper, but I think it's a bit better with card. And there you go. And because it doesn't... They'd have to, there we go. So, well, up until... Um, about three o'clock this afternoon, I hadn't even made anything, and I had a, not a very nice experience at Aldi today. So I came home and I was a bit fed up. Not, no, I didn't have a particularly nasty experience, but I was really fed up of the people. It looked nice with the houses on Lynn, you know, from the um, class we did where you cut them out. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to make another one of these, and I'm going to make it for our little pal Ronnie who lives next door, because he's got a, pun a pumpkin outside his house. So I'm going to make a little scene. So I've tried to do a nighttime scene with the moon in the corner. Um, I don't know if, I hope that he'll think there's a pumpkin behind that fence and there's a pumpkin there. Um, so I'm going to make a little scene. So I've already pre-cut loads of stuff because I wasn't sure how long it would take tonight um we're already on ten to um i've only doing these two projects and then i'll just talk if we've not um we need another selfie shot between projects <laughs> well i've still got my hat on actually um craig took his hat and his mask off because he can't to be fair he can't see wearing it um so what I'm going to do is, do you remember that dauber that I had? What, there's lots of ink on here. So I'm going to ink around the stitch. This is a stitched circle. And it's from um, the Stitch Shapes dies. And I just think if you're ever doing any form, this is, what, this is what we call, even though I've not really used punches, I've used die shapes. It's what we call punch art. And I used to do a lot of this in class. Um, so it just makes it pop a little bit more yeah so we've now got a bit more phantom 
music of the night. And then I've also die cut to do a different shape pumpkin. Three ovals from the same set of dies, the stitched. Um, I don't know if we've got new viewers tonight, um, but I did, I need to say a special thank you to, oh my goodness, a lady who sent me and Craig, and I actually forgot to tell him, because I was at my studio yesterday and saw it and picked it up, a most lovely card, and I've forgotten her name, is it Kat? It's in my handbag. Um, who sent us a gorgeous card thanking us for all our entertainment um, on, during lockdown on here and on coffee and card and if it's you thank you and, and this lady said that she's not commented yet so I hope tonight if you're on you might you might comment uh, and I want to say thank you for your lovely little card that you sent um, and I will get it out of my bag and show Craig and I'll mention it properly when I remember the correct name next week. Oh, the, yes. We did do a Winnie the Pooh punch out and it was, it was quite the fun experience. So I've now inked up three of the ovals. This, I don't think the pumpkins really have a, a long stalk like that. They have like a little stumpy stalk, but I just thought, oh, I'm going to cut them out from a daisy. So we've got our phantom medley. So I told you it's not really Halloween -y music. Okay, I've got a Sharpie pen to do. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. There we go. So what do you think? I'm just going to read your message. I did do nativity punch art and that was lovely. Um, so, do you like the organ sound? I love it. So what I'm gonna do now, I've sort of got that one ready. For this one, you can't really see it because it's behind the fence, but I thought if I just put two random um, pumpkins there, they're not gonna look. So I've tried to do it like it's a pumpkin patch <laughs> with a, a massive amount of two pumpkins. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue here and lay them over like that. So it's sort of like a, a, um, a different one, different pumpkin, just to give you an idea of how to do one. If you want to decorate a chocolate bar for the weekend, you might be able to now. Oh, that's stuck to the desk. Okay, that's one pumpkin. So I don't know if my local friends just seen but we are now going to be in tier three from Monday 
So let's just keep on crafting, that's what I say. I just need to find, I'm just going to cut some scrap. Um, I'm going to cut some scrap for my fence. I've used a classic label punch, which is um, this one. I've already punched these out, and this is soft suede. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my fence posts on my grid, like that. The ones that go horizontal. Yeah. And I'm going to stick these on here. So I'm going to put a bit of glue. Seth watching Kathy. I'm not been looking at it does sound good on the organ, doesn't it? You're loving it as much as the piano. Welcome to T3, gosh. It does sound great on the organ, isn't it? gonna make it for Christmas table yeah put a Santa on that's why I've done it Margaret because I just thought people could um oh how good was that thank you Craig everyone's loving the music on the organ this is for Seth this is for Seth, yeah. Seth Kathy if he's there it's an impromptu I think Oh, on the organ. He's come to listen now. Oh. Oh, I've done this fence before, Wendy. And I didn't, it wasn't my idea, so I can't claim it. I'd rather be honest. Star Wars on a theatre are and fabulous, isn't it? So that's a little fence. And that's going to go over there like that, you see. Does it cover too much of the fence? I mean, you can't really see the fence, can you? And if I put that one behind, you won't see it, so you could. Anyway, I could have it sticking up a bit more like that. Oh, hi, Jerry. Oh, is it Maria? I'm so pleased you're watching, that's amazing. You love the organ, Sharon. Oh, great. And Carol. Oh, Carol. We love how you always come in and Craig stuff and my stuff. So has Carol, has Carol seen it yet? Oh, I'm going to cut the bottoms off the fence, actually. Oh, I've got that one. Thanks, Jimmy. That's great that you're watching. 
We've got loads on tonight. We've got 50 now. We've had 53. Hey, how good did the Star Wars sound on there? That's amazing. I'm getting lots of love for the... Oh, so Craig's now moving over to the piano because he's a versatile artist. Um, organ's gone down very well, Craigie. Oh, the hat's back on. <laughs> Seth came in to listen to your Star Wars. Oh, thanks, Diane. Thank you from Seth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that little pumpkin there. Um, and then I'm going to put make a little moon there in the corner with a little circle. And I'm just going to check what time we're on. Oh, 8 o'clock, so I'm sort of halfway through. That's okay. So... Because this is for our friend next door, I have cut, I've cut his name out from the playful alphabet dies. Um, now this, I did have a practice with this. It just, just fits on. Um, so this song now Craig's playing is from the Twilight series of films. when I'm doing anything like this is I put the letters on first and then take them off one at a time because if not I'd be guessing where the letters were going and I'd probably run out of room so I'm sort of happy with that I'm going to stick this down let me see what people are saying very talented RT RTC is no we don't do we don't do um, Halloween really Val but we just thought we'd do the musical theatre thing as I mentioned um, we thought we'd have a laugh because I think we, everybody needs a laugh at the minute. So, and I'm, I felt like I was appearing in a musical tonight. I've not. It's been a year since I did one. So, no singing. hear me sing. I could do it diagonal but I think I'm gonna fit it on. I'm gonna fit it on okay. Just my hat's getting in the way now a bit. So I'm sure you could make one for those of you who've got young children or grandchildren you could make these Squash the R and the O right up. I might be able to do the organ stuff next week if it if people like that too. There we go. There is a Halloween treat for our little friend Ronnie next door. Um, with the chocolate bar inside. I hope he knows how to open it and not um, just ritz it. <laughs> so um, it does look better with a name on 
I'm going to try another one now. I've not got to practice one of this one, so it could go horribly wrong. But it's going to be exactly the same size. I'm using white card, and um, it's 21 by 21 again. And I'm going to score at five and a half, and then six and a half, and then flip it. And then at the bottom, just one centimetre. Ah, that was lovely, wasn't it? I'm not doing um, the spots on this one. But I am going to fold the score lines. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting tabs on these bottom pieces. You wondered if Craig could have of hell. Well, there you go. <laughs> the measurements UK S pooch were 20. They started at 20. I'll type it in a minute. You might see my hat go. I'll type it in a second. I'll just, I'll just stick this together. Tunes, don't you on here on a Thursday? Okay, so I've just done that. Right, I shall type the measurements in for you. Just move those out of the way. So the I started with a piece of 21 centimeter square card, scored from each end at 5.5, I'm working in centimetres, I apologise, and 6.5. So you do that from each end and then um, turn 90 degrees and score one soccer, score one end at one centimetre. Okay. So I'm going to take the chocolate out of there now and I'm going to do the pole in it again. Now I might need to actually put the stuff in. No, it's fine. Right, so what I've done I wonder if you can guess what this is going to be. I've pre-cut the... No, I'm not. I've torn them. Um, can you guess what it's going to be? Would I do a YouTube on punch art? I could do. Um, I could do, Wendy. So I'm going to ink these up with smoky slate. Now a bit squeaky. I'm just going to 
take me a while actually, so you can just enjoy the music. Sorry the squeaking. It's going to be a mummy, yes, Lynn, you got it right. So the reason why I'm doing this grey is just so it stands out a bit when I wrap them around. Yeah. Just try to. I was going to say we've tried to get in the spirit of it this year. <laughs> um, uh, that's gone down really well. That one, Craig. Bit of the rock chicks are out in force again tonight. Good, good. Geraldine has a request. Uh -huh. If you could at the end, maybe or near the end, could you do make me a channel view piece on the organ? Or, uh, yep. That would be lovely, thank you. And I think another couple of ladies would like her, so they'd love that. Right, so you can see how this is going to build up. Um, so, actually, did I need to ink that one? Because that's going to go over it. I spent all that time inking. I didn't really need to do it. top one and actually I don't need to ink the top one do I because the other one lies over it so it saves you doing it but actually on the back yeah it's fine actually So I've got 
some more ripped bits. Kathy loves that one. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying your week off, Kathy. There's no one today. Pardon? There's no one today, it's nice and Who's learned that today? No. I'm just, I'm just looking for something. These are my mummy's eyes. Not my mummy's eyes. This is what I was going to do um, a bit higher up, but I wanted to. Fabulous project. It would be as good as a snowman one. You could do all sorts with, with these projects, couldn't you? I mean, I, I must admit, I was like thinking, hey, what am I going to make? But I thought, I'll just keep it simple and just do, just cover two chocolate bars. Yeah, it could be a snowman. You could tie some ribbon round it. Oh, you're giving me ideas now, and you could do a little hat, carrot nose, and you could tie some ribbon round it uh, about halfway down as like his scarf. How cool is that? You see, this is what happens when we get creative, we get ideas from each other. Craig playing this, can we all guess? Yes, it's from Ghost. So you see, it's not just, it's been very um, clever with his choice of stuff. just deciding what to do with this and really I needed to because this one's going to be exposed sort of I needed to ink um, that one up so I've made a little flow powder there like that
I'm probably best getting like a chalked paint. Um, I could do one in and one a bit like that. Uh, Cookie Monster, yeah, you could do a monster. Oh, it does look a bit, doesn't look scary, does it? But you could do a monster. You could do it as a monster. Um, Sponged art bus are going on your Christmas list. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Some sponged arbors. Wonky eyes. What weight is the chocolate bar you're using, Julie? Oh, I'll find out for you in a minute. Thanks, Craig. What time are we on? Oh, seven minutes left. That should just be perfect, actually. So, just should be perfect. And then we can maybe show our costumes to people who missed the beginning but I think you may want to re-watch so oh this is one of my faves from Wicked I love singing this song this is the one the character that I'm dressed as sings um the weight Anne is 95 grams. Should have been uh, Right, so what I need to do now. I've still got my hat on. <laughs> is cut some of this twine. down there and then 
doesn't interfere with the face of the mummy or anything. Um, I could use a shredded t-shirt instead. Yeah, I could. In fact, I did see someone had used some white ribbon and wound it round. But I thought, oh, that's a lot of ribbon to use. So that was from Wicked. Thanks, Grave, for that one. Personal fave. Yeah, we're nearly at the end now, my love, so... Love Never Dies and... Uh... We're going to do Love Never Dies. He's back on the organ. A bit of Love Never Dies on there, and then Geraldine. Or whichever order, love. I'm sure Geraldine and Think Anne Marie will, will be grateful for it. Everybody's got access to to buying a bar of dairy milk, haven't they? And it is the best chocolate. We do have the best chocolate. Sorry to my US friends, but we do. <laughs> your comments now. Tidy it up a little bit. I think they're great, Kathy. I think they're easier. We will keep crafting. You keep watching. Oh, hi, Tilly Crafts. I've not heard you um, comment, seen your comment before. Thanks for leaving a comment. Hi, Sue. You're welcome. We've tried to do it, you know, we didn't want to go too spooky. Um, we've gone mu musical theatre, because we're all about that. We don't know what we're going to do for Christmas now. Not dressing up as Mrs Claus. Going to make them for your grandsons. Yeah, they're really easy to do. Um, I'll, I'll pop the measurements on my customer group. Um, it's my UK customer group. So, um, I have got a class on Saturday, which <laughs> I sent all the passes out for on Monday and they haven't arrived yet, so I'm a little bit worried about it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what we're making on Saturday. If you want to watch, um, you can watch. I actually shared them on a paper crafts and piano. Um, so we're making these cards on Saturday, doing a bit of spritzing um, and using the Blossoms in Bloom. All the videos are on, they're all uploaded. Um, 
So for those ladies who've signed up, at two o'clock a welcome video goes live. It's about 10 minutes and then at quarter past two, I'm doing it different. I'm doing it like I did um, last week's Stamper Stack because I think people found it less stressful. I did I did a few little videos. Um, let me just see if I can, oh no, I can't zoom. I did a few little videos. Um, oh, bless you, Sheila. Um, yeah, you could do elves, you can do snowmen, all sorts. Um, oh, well, it's fine. You can watch, you can comment. That's no problem, Tilly Crafts. Um, so yeah, I'm doing shorter videos and then people can catch up and watch them. Um, they don't feel maybe as rushed. So they're all uploaded and ready. So that's this, that's this coming Saturday. And then I haven't got an event next Saturday. Now we do need to talk to you about next Thursday. This is actually week 20 of Paper Crafts and Piano. Can you believe it? We've been we've been entertaining you for 20 weeks tonight. Um, and next Thursday is actually bonfire night. Not that that makes a difference. Um, but I'm on a stamping up online conference event call it conference event next thursday so we were going to have the thursday off but what we may do if we get chance is we may pre-record um something for you to listen to and upload it as a premiere but i will let you know and then you can still chat to each other um and i can probably chat along but i won't be sort of reacting to your chats like i am now with my voice probably just with um, typing, like on my classes. So we'll probably pre-record something. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be quiet now so you can listen to this.
that's okay, Geraldine and Anne Marie, just for you too. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to turn the camera back around. Thank you for indulging us in this evening. And we will say goodbye to you. Uh, we'll try not to scare you. <laughs> oh, so we do look a bit different to what we normally do um, when we're saying bye on a Thursday. I've mentioned we might do a pre-record yes, next week. Definitely. So we'll try. We'll, we'll let you know. The organ has gone down really well. Um, Geraldine and Anne-Marie are in tears at the channel of your piece. Craig looks a bit scary. I'm going to try and get the green makeup off, see how that goes. What did um, you have for tea, love? What? What did you have for tea? We did have peas for tea. <laughs> <laughs> we did have fish, chips and peas homemade. Um, so thank you for tuning in. We will look at your lovely comments. We've had a lot of comments. I've crafted in a hat for an hour, probably the first time ever in my life. Um, <laughs> so Elphaba and Phantom are off to have finish the Diet Cokes and we'll, we'll see you next week. So thank you for um, support, your support. <laughs> he's, he's gone under his clock. See you next week. Well, we'll see you, sort of see you next week, but we'll be back definitely the week after. Bye.